Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Allie, and today I am so excited for this video because it is a thrift haul, obviously. You can tell from the title. Today I have so many 90s and Y2K just like cute ass pieces that I cannot wait to show you all. I'm just like staring at them because they're just like in front of me here. So I actually went thrifting in Pocono Springs, Pennsylvania, and if you don't know where that is, don't worry because I don't either. Ooh. Basically, it's in the middle of nowhere in the mountains in Pennsylvania, and pro tip, from me to you, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. The best thrifting is in rural places or like South Carolina ass thrift stores that are super empty and in the middle of nowhere. Those are absolutely the best stores to thrift at because there's no edgy kids in the thrift stores stealing everything. So there's really nice quality pieces. All the good stuff is in there. And yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys everything I got. So. Let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I picked up is this adorable retro looking striped turtleneck. I really love the earth tones of this. I feel like this would look really cute with like maybe a brown pair of pants or honestly even jeans and like a brown belt. Um, I cropped this because I feel like it gives it a super cute, you know, a refresh, a little refresh, if you will. So I really love this piece. The next piece I got is super spring themed and this is so cute to me. It is a little yellow t-shirt cardigan looking thing, but it has these flowers kind of like embroidered over the whole cardigan. I feel like this would look super cute open over like a little um, white tank top moment, or I think I might crop it, but we shall see. I think this is adorable and I cannot wait to wear it. The next thing that I picked up, I honestly, like I think my jaw kind of dropped when I saw this. Some of you guys might think this is like so tacky, but I'm obsessed, okay? I'm obsessed. So I got this matching set and if you can see, it is a baby pink kind of like silky pajama set that says princess with stars all over it. So stars are my brand and I'm a princess and I freaking love these. Um, it was a size large, so I kind of got lucky, but also I just think that the top is super cute. I'm not sure if I'd wear these together, maybe for like a pajama kind of look. I think I might want to layer it with like a blue turtleneck or something, and I feel like this would make for a cute little princess moment. So yeah, I picked up this set. When I saw these pants, I was so fucking shook. So from afar, they look like normal jeans, but if you can tell, they have these bedazzled buttons butterflies all along the jeans and on the other side on the bottom pant leg are you kidding me how freaking cute are these pants i actually wore these the picture flopped um but it was such a cute look i am obsessed with these pants they are a little big for me because they're literally like plus size pants um so i do have to wear them with a belt but it's honestly worth it because i have never found a pair of pants like as cute as these with the little butterflies and i just love the whole butterfly trend so i feel like these are so me the next thing i have to show you guys we have a little animal print moment this is a little leopard print baby tee this is so cute and it's also like a really nice velvet material i've never found like a shirt like this thrifting before like a nice little velvet material i think this is so cute it looks so cute on me um low-key obsessed with this i kind of need to wear it soon um but yeah So the next thing I have to show you guys is this animal print baby tee. I think this is so cute. It's just kind of simple, but also really nice quality. I so appreciate the velvet of this baby tee because you can't see it like through the screen, obviously, but in real life, having something like unexpectedly be velvet is so satisfying. That made no sense, but like take it as you will. The next thing I have to show you guys is probably one of my favorite things in this haul. Um, it could be questionable because I got it from the kids section, so if you hate this, I'm really so sorry. I hope you get the vibe I'm going for, but it is just this little sweater with these sequin hearts on it, which I think is so cute, and then the sleeves are this like black and white striped moment here movie i think this is so cute i really love the little emo kind of look that it gives the hot topic vibe if you know what i'm saying um i don't know i just think this is really cute and it fits me like tight so it's kind of like a crop top moment and yeah 
love this. The next thing I picked up is this little tank top and it just has the New York Yankees symbol kind of embroidered on. My dad is such a big Yankee fan, so every time I see the New York Yankees like symbol or anything related to them, I literally just have like tunnel vision. I thought this was really cute. Obviously it was a full size tank top and I cut it, but I really love the look of cropped little tank tops. It's kind of like a little Brandy Melville kind of look, but I really love that for summer. I'm obsessed with wearing small shirts and big pants. Like that meme is literally me. I don't know like who else could be made for that meme, but like my outfit formula is literally small shirt, big pants. I love this. I also love the little lining. It kind of spices it up a little bit and yeah, I got this. I've always wanted to thrift something like this before, but I've never found like the perfect one, I guess you could say. I found this adorable rainbow striped turtleneck and it's literally perfect. It has lettuce hem on the neckline, lettuce hem on the bottom, lettuce hem on the sleeves, and the colors are just perfect. I love the little rainbow with the white in between. The pink theme is perfect for me, and yeah, I'm obsessed with this little turtleneck. I feel like with layering, it'll be so good, and also maybe just wearing it by itself with a pair of pink pants might be a look, but who knows, we will see. Okay, so honestly, I think I kind of have a problem with buying kids clothes because they're so cute, but like, it gets to a point where they just don't fit over my boobs anymore and it's just embarrassing, but I got another kid's shirt. I wore it to Jesse's I Heart Tour show and everything was fine. Um, it didn't rip or anything like that, but this is a very small shirt for me. I will admit that. Um, but please don't send me hate for buying kids clothes. I just think they look cute on me when we got a little cropped moment, but I do realize that they are too small for me. So please, no hate comments. But I got this little tiny crop top and it says, as a matter of fact, the world does revolve around me. And uh, yeah, I'm a narcissist. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. I feel like this shirt is really true. And it's also super cute. I love the hot pink. I love the blue. I love the white. I'm obsessed with this little guy. The next thing I have to show you guys is a pair of pants and I guess technically they are pajama pants but they are these black velvet pants and if you can tell they have little red sparkly cherries printed all over them. Yes these are pajama pants but as Charlie XCX has said nightwear is daywear bitch and yeah I just love wearing pajama pants all the time. I feel like they can pass as real pants if they look good and you style them right. So I feel like I want to wear this with like a little red crop top kind of thing, black boots. We'll see how it works but I'm obsessed with these pants. Pants. They're so cute and the cherries are just to die for. The next thing I got is this cute little polo top. It just has blue and white and kind of like turquoise-ish stripes. I really love this collar here. Um, this used to be a full-length shirt, but I did crop it. I feel like things just look better cropped. Like all of you guys always comment being like, Allie, why are you cutting your clothes? Like stop doing that. It looks messed up. But I just think things look better cropped on me. Small shirt and big pants, what can I say? What would an AliXX thrift haul be without a graphic tee? I picked up this one and it is just a USA kind of tee. I'm really not one to wear like patriotic clothes, but this one I feel like has a cute little vintage feel. I really love the wings on this shirt. I feel like it's super hard, um, but yeah, I'm selling this on my Depop. Um, it is super cute with a red turtleneck layered underneath, so yeah. Go check out my Depop. Also, a couple other things from this haul will be on my Depop or are on my Depop right now. So go smash that Depop buy button. Thank you. The next thing that I have to show you guys, like I honestly still am really not sure about. Um, I haven't really put this on yet, so I don't know exactly how it fits me, but I got this skirt and it's pretty long. Um, the idea for this was like the Unif long skirts, if you guys know what I'm talking about. They're not like maxi skirts, but they're kind of like over the knee looking kind of skirts and I feel like they have some plaid ones. This gives me sock hop vibes with like the cut of the skirt, but I'm totally obsessed with the plaid. I feel like the colors are so cute. It's just gonna be a matter of how this looks on my body, but we shall see. I uh, I put on the skirt. 
This is really bad. Skirt is literally the most ugliest length I have ever seen in my life. And yeah, this is, this is really just honestly so bad. So we're canceling this. We're canceling the skirt. The last thing in this haul that I have to show you guys is this purple corduroy zip up jacket. This is like a 3XL or something like that, but I'm obsessed with wearing super big slouchy jackets. I just feel like it's so cute and so comfortable. Love this. You honestly can't even see it because it's like so big. Um, but yeah, I just honestly am in a zip up jacket vibe right now. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'm like a fourth grader or something, but yeah, I also think the corduroy on this is really cool. So. Hopefully I wear a cute look with this. Before I end this video, I just wanted to kind of talk about something really quick. And that is, I really want to start doing a new style of videos where I basically just kind of like vlog every day, post every couple days when I have like something interesting in the vlog and kind of like title the video around whatever is in the vlog. Do you guys think that that would be shitty or do you think that you would like it? I really want to start daily vlogging because I think it would be super fun, but I don't know if I can commit to daily vlogging, which is why I want to post probably like once or twice a week. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of that. Let me know if that would be interesting or not. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to me down below, pretty please. Follow me on Instagram and check out my Depop if you liked anything from this haul because it could be on sale on my Depop. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.